in terms of physical security, um, well, starting from the outside in, starting with the layers. Um, we're taking some of the layers. Um, so we've got uh, the boundary of your property. Um, you've probably got fencing. Um, you, depending on uh, the type of business you are, your location, um, what you do, what the threats are. Um, you know, it's uh, interesting to look at that fencing. Sometimes you don't have any. Um, and you're just relying on the outside walls. But, um, you know, if you've got a parking lot, company vehicles, um, whatever. Uh, the height of the fence um, is, of course, important. And, and basically we say, you know, a fence that's a meter high is uh, sort of a suggestion. A fence that's two meters high uh, is a recommendation. And a fence, you know, if you're really serious, you want to let people know that you're a bit serious about it you're probably gonna have to go to two and a half meters and uh, put top guard on it, barbed wire, that sort of stuff. Um, the uh, poles um, and the fabric of the fence, I mean, you know, very often it's, it's chain link fence, that's, you know, very cheap, but yeah, what, what is uh, supporting it structurally, um, what kind of material, uh, again, what kind of threats is it that you are are facing um i just happen to be thinking right now of uh fencing along highways which of course is not uh meant to prevent the cars from coming off the road there are other uh ways of dealing with that but um uh usually the sound they're you know and and so they will have a um uh fairly tall fence with a with no brakes in it. You know, you, chain link is not gonna work in this situation when you wanna baffle sound. Um, so, you know, it, it does depend what the situation is, what your uh, threats are that you are protecting against. Um, so, uh, oh, but if it is, uh, you know, well, regular fencing, um, uh, make sure that the poles are, in fact, secure and upright. Um, make sure the um, uh, fence fabric is appropriate to whatever uh, you're trying to stop. And, uh, you know, if it is chain link, um, and, and in some other situations, you've got to make sure that it's um, securely fastened at the ground level, too. Uh, that you are not just um, dealing with, uh, uh, you know, situations where people can... Uh, dig underneath. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter how high it is if, if they're going to be able to dig underneath. Um, and, uh, you know, do you have overhanging branches? Uh, trees that do. In, in terms of the poles and, and fabric, um, I can remember one situation. Um, uh, this particular company had uh, across the street from them and up the hill, um, a uh, uh, an auto repair shop and uh, the auto repair people of course were always moving cars in and out uh, you know cars that were waiting cars that were fixed um, and parking them on this uh, company side of the street well it was on a steep hill and over time the the landslip from all this activity meant that the poles for the fence just lay down flat. You could just walk right over it. Uh, again, it didn't matter how tall it was. Um, so, um, other types of uh, barriers. Um, bollards. Bollards are, are really interesting because you can... Uh, this is, of course, meant to prevent vehicles from accessing a certain area or being able to, you know drive at high speed into an area but you you know bollards can be uh, made to look at least non-threatening you know you can have a lot of them there but you can have them for uh, planters you can have them for garbage cans you can have them for uh, sidewalk lighting um, those types of things and you know good solid uh, bases they will still prevent cars from driving into that area. Um, 
and uh, well there's other uh, physical barriers as well um, uh, for your boundary there you know there's natural barriers there's natural uh, landscape features um, so you know take advantage of those um, prepare your landscaping as we talked about in, in septed um, have your uh, uh, you know do you have ponds um, streams um, you have to be careful with streams you don't want to uh, mess with them uh, but uh, they they can be you know fairly effective as protection um, shrubs uh, hedges um, uh, but of course we got uh, fences um, then you've got gates and and points of access um, and so you know what uh, what is the control of the gates what is the uh, security of the gates um, those are of course your your weak points in, in strictly physical terms and uh, um, you know if you are faced with a situation where you're actually trying to stop somebody driving into uh, the facility or the property um, you want to pay attention to that but it, you know once again you have to know what kind of threats you are facing and uh, be realistic about what you need to put in place as protection.